Hello everyone, my name is Lauren and I'm an educator here at the Bartow History Museum. We're putting together this video to honor 20 notable women in Bartow County and all of their accomplishments. We originally wanted to get together and have a ceremony where we honored these women and what they do for us on a daily basis. Unfortunately, COVID-19 made that impossible. But because their contributions to the Bartow County community are too important to overlook, we decided to put together this video. Anna Sullivan serves as the District 5 representative on the Bartow County School Board. Sullivan holds degrees from both Vanderbilt University and Mercer University, and her professional background includes experience as a reference librarian, long-term substitute, and administrative roles at multiple institutes of higher learning, including Georgia State University, Berry College, and her own alma mater, Mercer University. Sullivan is a Bartow County native and she grew up in Adairsville, which now falls in the same district that she represents on the school board. Sullivan still lives in Adairsville with her husband Robert and their four children near her childhood home. Marion Coleman is the former curator here at the Noble Hill Willer Memorial Center, which is a local museum that focuses on preserving black culture and history here in Bartow County. The center is one of several restored Rosenwald schools that were built for the purpose of educating black children across the South. In addition to being the site's curator for 21 years, Coleman is also an alumnus of the Noble Hill School. Her continued dedication to local history has made Miss Coleman an important part of Bartow County community. Dot Frazier is the executive director of the Bartow Education Foundation. After working as an educator and administrator in the Bartow County school system for 40 years, Frazier was encouraged to take on her current role, which allows her to continue helping fellow educators and their students. The Bartow Education Foundation provides grants to teachers and other school employees, provides professional development opportunities, and recognizes educators and other staff members through their Teacher of the Year and Employee of the Month recognition programs. Frazier's continued dedication to the education of Bartow County's children is certainly worth honoring. Melinda Lemon is the Executive Director for the Cartersville Bartow County Department of Economic Development, where she's been employed for almost 17 years. Lemon received her bachelor's degree in business administration and marketing from the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. And for almost two decades now, Lemon has served the community in her position as executive director by encouraging the expansion of industry and small business, as well as searching for new opportunities for investment and economic growth here in Bartow County. Cindy Carter is the county nurse manager here at the Bartow County Health Department. Carter holds both a bachelor's and master's degree in nursing and is a practicing registered nurse. In her current position, Carter is responsible for managing the daily operations of multiple health service programs, preparing and administrating the department's assigned budget, and collaborating with other health care providers and community agencies to provide clinical and population-based services here in Cartersville. Carter's role has become especially important in the past several months as health officials across the world have worked tirelessly to get the COVID-19 pandemic under control. The Bartow team rotates and assists at the COVID-19 test site with contact tracing efforts, data entry, and setting up and breaking down the site each day. The team also rotates through a rapid test site here at the health department. To date, no member of the Bartow County staff has tested positive for COVID. And as a medical professional, Carter's work is extremely important part of keeping Bartow County citizens happy and healthy. Beth Tilly is the president of Tilly Properties Incorporated, a real estate company that focuses on industrial and commercial development, as well as basic property management and leasing. Tilly is a graduate of Kennesaw State University and a Cartersville native. In addition to owning her own business, Tilly is an active member in many community organizations, such as the Cartersville Bartow County Joint Development Authority and the Development Authority of Cartersville. Tilly lives with her husband Greg and their daughter, and they are all active members of Sam Jones Methodist Church here in Cartersville. Laurel Lowe is the creative director of GAT Marketing and an accomplished playwright. Her first ever full-length play, Living Room, was featured in the Pump House Players Local Playwright Series in 2019. 
Though Lowe is currently a resident of Kennesaw in the neighboring Cobb County, she's been part of the Pump House Players in Cartersville since 2001, making her an important part of the Cartersville arts community. Ellen Archer is the executive director of the Cartersville Bartow County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Archer is a graduate of the University of Georgia and she's been active in the Cartersville Bartow community for many years. In her current role, she manages comprehensive marketing plans to promote tourism here in Bartow County. Archer lives with her husband, David, a local lawyer who is also well known in the community and she has several adult children and stepchildren. Chrissy Montgomery is the program director here at the Grand Theater in Cartersville. Montgomery is an essential part of the everyday operations of the Grand, and she not only plays a hand in theatrical productions, but she's also a big part of the educational programs that the theater runs in conjunction with the Bartow History Museum and the Booth Western Art Museum. Montgomery has been passionate about the arts for most of her life, and she's been involved with nonprofit work in the arts for 17 years consistently now. Ernestine Young-Jones is the news director and anchor for WBHF Radio in Bartow County. Jones has been involved in local radio and reporting for 20 years now and has won awards for her features on local government and economics as well as stories on the happenings of the Bartow Superior Court. Jones graduated from Adairsville High School before earning her degree at Berea College. She's a familiar face to those who work downtown and a familiar voice for hundreds of other Cartersville City and Bartow County residents. Lynn Henderson is a local photographer and president of the Booth Photography Guild. According to local businesswoman and member of the Bartow History Museum, Dami Sarcher, Henderson was instrumental in creating the Guild for the Booth Museum, which is dedicated to educating people on the art of photography. Henderson's husband, Barry, is also a local artist. He specializes in creating bronze statues, some of which are also featured at the Booth Western Art Museum along with his wife's photography work. Yvonne Mashburn-Schmidt is a certified genealogist and owner of her own business, the Georgia Genealogist Incorporated. Though she currently resides in South Georgia, Schmidt grew up here in Bartow County where she fostered a love for genealogical research. After she retired, she decided to pursue her hobby full time. Schmidt holds Boston University's Certificate for Genealogical Research and a certified genealogist credential from the Board Certification for Genealogists. Schmidt's passion and dedication for ancestry and genealogical research is what landed her on Bartow History Museum's list of most notable women. Laura Janaret is the owner of Laura J Designs, a local business that specializes in graphic design. In addition to owning and managing her own business, Janaret is also heavily involved with nonprofit work. She's on the Board of Trustees for Advocates for Children and the Board of Directors for Art and Bartow. Furthermore, she's an active member of the Chamber of Commerce, and most recently she was nominated for the Chamber's Impact Award to honor her dedication to making a difference in the community. As a journalist for more than two decades, Marie Nesmith has enjoyed chronicling the stories of Lumpkin, White, Cobb, Cherokee, Fulton, Clayton, and Bartow counties. Throughout her career, her responsibilities have included composing and editing articles, capturing photographs, training reporters, and directing the editorial content of weekly publications. At the Daily Tribune, Nesmith has received numerous Georgia Press Association awards in a variety of categories since 2007, including feature writing, education coverage, and religion coverage. She joined the Cartersville newspaper staff in 2006 as its features editor. Along with writing human interest stories, Nesmith continues to embrace the opportunity to highlight Bartow's arts, nonprofit, and religious organizations. She earned a bachelor's degree in English from North Georgia College and State University in Dahlonega in 1993 and a commercial photography diploma from North Georgia Technical College in Clarksville in 2000. In Agriculture and Environmental Services and Agricultural Journalism from the University of Georgia in the 1970s. And she worked as a sustainability strategist with Bartow County for 15 years. The purpose of her work was to educate people and encourage the citizens of Bartow County to engage with sustainable practices. Kelly Dial is the Chief Assistant Public Defender in the Cherokee Judicial Circuit and President of the Cartersville City School Board. Dial graduated from Cartersville High School before going to Berry College where she received her BA in Music. 
She then earned her law degree from Georgia State University and began practicing law with the Cherokee Judicial Circuit in 1990. Dials continued work defending citizens of the community in the judicial system of Bartow County, along with all of her efforts on the Cartersville City School Board, is what landed her on our list of notable women. And in addition to her Bachelor of Science in Management from Georgia Tech, Reeves has many accreditations in the world of dance, including being a certified member of the Dance Educators of America. Reeves volunteers her free time to the community by serving as chairman of the Cartersville Cultural Alliance, coaching dancers for scholarship opportunities, and offering her judging expertise for competitions like Distinguished Young Women. Katie Gobi is the director of the U Harley Welcome Center and History Museum. Gobi has been with the city of U Harley now for eight years, and as director, she is responsible for long-term and daily operations of the museum and center. She is a paid staff of one with a team of dedicated volunteers, and in addition to her many tasks with the museum, Gobi is also in charge of planning large community events like U Harley's Food Truck Friday and the Covered Bridge Fall Festival. Furthermore, she is responsible for the social media and public relations for the city as a whole. Gobi credits her interest in history to growing up near a Civil War battlefield and, interestingly, the American Girl doll brand. Gobi says her favorite thing about living and working in Bartow County is the welcoming and encouraging people. Ann Ward is a local endocrinologist affiliated with Floyd Medical Center. Ward received her MD at the University of Oklahoma Medical School and then completed her residency at Duke University Hospital which has been recognized as one of the best hospitals in the country for several years. She subsequently completed a fellowship at Washington University Affiliated Hospitals. As an experienced endocrinologist who is certified by the American Board of Internal Medicine, Dr. Ward continues to serve the Bartow County community through her passion and her dedication to her patients. Alexis Carter Callahan is a local historian and known for her research about enslaved life in the antebellum South. Along with her husband, Sean, she helped establish the Etowah Bush School, which explores rural African-American art, culture, and history. She received her Bachelor's of Science in Criminal Justice from Georgia Southern University and went on to receive her Master's Degree in United States History from Armstrong State University in Savannah, Georgia. Callahan has conducted extensive research on several sites on the Bartow County African-American Heritage Trail including George Washington Carver Park here on Lake Alatoona and Miss Viney's Cabin in Cartersville. Callahan also serves on the boards of the Noble Hill Wheeler Memorial Center and Summer Hill Heritage Group. Carrie Dobson has been a dental hygienist for 29 years, and for 25 of those years, she has been part of Alatoona Family Dental. According to Dobson, she enjoys helping people overcome their fears and anxieties about going to the dentist. Dobson is a Cartersville native, and she has two grown children, Wes and Tinsley. She enjoys traveling, especially to the beach, spending time with family, antiquing, and supporting local sports teams like the Falcons and the Braves. Dobson's commitment to the health of the Cartersville community is what landed her on Bartow History Museum's list of notable women. Thank you so much for watching our video. For more content like this, check out our website, bartohistorymuseum.org.